Good morning, friends and fellow traders, and happy Friday, everyone. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for July 10th, 2020. So yesterday, we saw the imbalances in the market continue as we experienced some selling pressure in the Diamonds, the SPY, and the Q and IWM, yet at the same time, those tech giants continue to push higher, leading uh, the tech uh, market to set a new, QQQ, set a new record. And then at the same time, we saw coronavirus hitting a new record high of infections. Around 63,000 folks contracted the virus yesterday. And unfortunately, we're starting to see those death tolls spike as well. So as we face a, another weekend, what should we be looking at in the market? Well, how about we settle in and let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning, we're looking at kind of an interesting situation. We saw Asian markets overnight um, come under just a little bit of pressure because of coronavirus. We see European markets uh, today lifting slightly. They're in bullish mode um, after some um, hopeful Italian data. And we have U.S. futures um, that have come up off of their lows, overnight lows, and are pointing to modest declines um, at the open this morning. So what does all of that mean? Well, how about we take a look at some of the technicals, take a look at price action, see if we can make some sense out of this. As you guys know, I've been pointing this out for some time now. We've got the Dow struggling here just a little bit. We broke our uptrend and we're testing price resistance here of that uptrend as resistance and yesterday we saw some selling coming into that market now we also have that little bit of hopefulness here where we are holding above this little downtrend meaning that we kind of have a, a tough dilemma here in the chart to try and determine which way the market is going to go. If we look at the bearish candle pattern, we have a bearish engulfing candle. We also have support levels down in this area, meaning that if even if we do fall, we may not fall tremendously. So kind of an interesting dynamic this morning. Right now, futures are pointing to a little bit of gap down open here in the Dow, uh, maybe close to retesting yesterday's lows in the market. And if we take a look at the moving averages here, you can see what we really have going on is a, a true failure now of the 200 day moving average. We've tried and tried and tried to get back above that and we seem to be struggling here right at this level. Yet at the same time, uh, we still have a rising 50 day moving average. So really interesting dynamic in this chart. And um, I, I think there is a possibility that we see that 50 day moving average based on that bearish engulfing candle and the lower high. But, you know, as tenacious as the bulls are in just the very select few, if they can get Apple and Amazon to rally, the Dow could easily rally. So a real interesting dynamic here in the market right now. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY did a much better job of recovering yesterday after um, initial selling. Drop down here and we actually broke the ADMA. We call that the T-line. Um, and as you can see, um, rallied sharply up off of there. So really what we've got going on is more of a consolidation here um, right at the price level that left behind this island reversal pattern. So still we're struggling with that island reversal pattern as resistance and just a tiny little bit of bearishness showing up yesterday um, and by the end of the day leaving the market with kind of a hmm what happens next and as you can see we're looking at a little uh, selling pressure here this morning with a slight gap down maybe back down to test that t-line 
Um, but no real threat here of a major sell-off. So interesting, interesting situation. And then if we look at um, IWM, I'm going to go there next. IWM, IWM actually tested the 50-day moving average yesterday. And we have a fa failure at the 500-day moving average. And we have a couple failures at the 200-day moving average. But we're still holding up on that 50-day, which is really kind of remarkable overall, um, considering um, uh, virus infections, recovery, um, struggling, all those kind of things. Very, very interesting. And um, we do have a little bit of a gap down happening here this morning, back down, maybe a test of that 50-day moving average could be in play. Uh, for this morning's open, so watch that carefully. Um, tough dynamic, and then let's take a look at the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ shows no fear whatsoever, uh, no problems whatsoever. We have the big tech giants, Google, Amazon, uh, Microsoft, Apple, uh, Facebook, um, some Nvidia in there. Um, AMD saw a, saw a big rise yesterday. So all of those tech giants, tend to be the ones leading the market and continuing to hold things up and whether or not they can continue this pressure. Now, one of the things that I have to wonder is what happens to the market if some of these big tech giants start to find some profit taking. Clearly, they are in a um, strong bullish move here, but they're also getting a little bit stretched. And if we take a look right here, we have a little bit of a hanging man pattern, which suggests a little stress may be coming in here on the NASDAQ. So let's watch that close. If the tech starts selling off, makes you wonder what else is really going to hold the market up. So keep a close eye on that. Let's take a look at the VIX. The VIX also Boy, I tell you, this thing seesawed like crazy yesterday. We we came down here, we were down in the 26 handles here on the VIX, testing that 200-day moving average again. And then we rallied all the way up through the 50-day moving average, and we were pushing 31 handles yesterday as we continued to seesaw around substantially here in um, the VIX. I gotta tell you, it's an interesting dynamic to see new record highs being set, and yet such an elevated VIX. Um, one of the RWO members yesterday actually suggested that it's really strange seeing new records being set, and the VIX setting in you know in the upper 20s that's actually displaying a little bit of complacency. And I think uh, I think he's right. There is a little bit of com complacency going on here as we just continue to get the impression that everything is good um, in the market. Yet, I want to remind everyone, yesterday we saw over 1.3 million people file for unemployment. And if you look back, um, everyone, that is about double the worst numbers we saw in the 2008-2009 crisis and there's worry that those numbers are going to start to move back up. So 18 million Mar Americans unemployed and it's just surprising that the market doesn't seem to care um, about that at all. Um, interesting dynamic in the market and what comes next is really anyone's guess. We are going to have to s remain very focused on price action and very flexible because we could um, whip either direction pretty easily as we've been seeing in these charts. Let's take a look at um, T2122. T2122 also seems to be kind of in a confused mode as we whip around in here. Um, but you can see yesterday that selling uh, pulled us back considerably. We're, we're still a, a long ways away from being um, down here in that bearish reversal zone, but we could see that this morning with this little gap down. Um, we could see that pressure pushing us back down here into that bullish reversal zone. So interesting dynamic um, here as well. 
keep a close eye on that. It'll be interesting to see how many traders really hold on to um, these high price positions as we head into the weekend and approaching the third quarter earnings season kickoff next week. Let's take a look at um, our economic calendar for today. Our economic calendar does have just a little bit on it to make note of for the day. And as you can see, we've got a PPI report coming out here this morning. So watch for that PPI report. Um, expectations are that it will come in about the same as it came in last um, last time. So watch that close, but unlikely to really move the market a bunch. We seem to just have a capacity to, to um, just brush off most numbers in the market right now. Um, and then we've got treasury budget later on today, but I don't expect that to move the market around at all. On the earnings front today, we have kind of a light calendar um, with only 11 companies reporting today. And I could really only come up with one company that is even somewhat notable uh, for today. Um, and that's SJR. Um, everything else is is pretty much really tiny type stock. So SJR might be somewhat notable this morning. We'll want to keep an eye on that. Bid ask spread is really wide and it looks like it's favoring an upside move. But bid ask spread being really wide this morning, we're waiting on that report um, so far. So keep an eye on that stock. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a favor, if you find these videos to be useful to you, if you find these videos to be helpful, if you could please click that um, subscribe button on YouTube and also click the uh, bell icon so you can be notified when I post a video. Also, please, um, if you feel that the video was uh, was worthy uh, please click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment i truly appreciate it and thank you so much to everyone who does it it honestly um, humbles me every day with the kind comments that you folks uh, leave and i truly truly appreciate um, the support of the effort here so um, let's take a look at a few of those charts that well may have some interest but i gotta tell you it, it's really difficult um, it's really difficult to short anything in this market because the market seems to be very focused on more stimulus. And we know that Congress, once it comes back from its recess, um, they will be working on another stimulus package. And who knows what the size of that might be. And the market wants to focus on that. But um, we also have um, earnings to deal with. And so it may be quite volatile over um, the next few weeks um, in the market as all these news and events um, starts coming out. So let's take a look at a few things that are working, um, places that you might want to um, watch carefully. One I think is kind of kind of important, and, and that is that we're seeing selling pressure um, in the financials. We had a little bit of rally um, earlier this week in some of those financials, but notice we are continuing to sell off in these financials. So look to some of those banks that are starting to struggle, and remember, we're gonna be, they're gonna be facing earnings uh, starting next week. It's gonna be one of those interesting uh, dynamics here. Are we going to be able to hold price support in here and break um, this wedge pattern to the upside on those earnings reports, or will we sink on through? And I gotta tell you, um, it's gonna be tough for a market to rally if we can't get some of the financials uh, moving up overall so watch that carefully today also it might be a good idea to watch some of the energy stocks um, there is a expectation out there right now that what we've got going on is um, a few um, supplies potentially growing because we're seeing um, transportation and things starting to pull back as coronavirus numbers spike. Folks are staying home and demand may be dropping. 
And so we're seeing some pressure here in the energy sector as well in that downtrend bearish engulfing candle yesterday. The question still remains is can it break down through that little support area right there? Can it break down? We'll want to watch that carefully. This is one of those um, wedge patterns as well that could break in either direction. We could see that break higher or uh, break lower. So watch that close as we kind of struggle with that dynamic of coronavirus infection rising and um, recovery struggling in a lot of states, um, new records being set on that front. So watch those carefully. Places that seem to really be working quite well, although they got a little little bit of a pullback yesterday is in precious metals. Um, precious metals have been in a real strong rally and um, once again I want to let everyone know that I may have a bias on this because I currently hold positions in GLD, silver, and some copper um, that have been working really well and I have really nice profits in them. But um, got a little rest yesterday um, in this and we could still get a little bit of a pullback yet to maybe test some support levels and test that trend before we have that opportunity to move higher. So let that, let that little resting pattern um, continue. There may be another opportunity to enter into uh, those trends. Silver as well saw some selling yesterday. Now silver will tend to move a little bit more with the overall market. So if the market sells off, silver does tend to move with it because it has more of an industrial aspect to it than gold does. But keep an eye on that. Uh, precious metals holding up quite well overall and something we want to keep an eye on. Take a look at stocks like DOCU. DOCU caught another upgrade yesterday. This thing is just in a monster trend. I do think it is a little bit extended and I do think um, a high probability of some kind of a pullback comes into play here in um, DOCU or a consolidation. So watch that close and then watch for that next opportunity to maybe pick that stock up. One I've been watching closely and I have to tell you that I do own this position is Cisco. Cisco also caught an upgrade yesterday and as you can see we're kind of struggling in this little wedge pattern and yesterday we popped up above that but with the selling yesterday it struggled to hold that. So I'm watching this closely as long as we can hold this area in here for support then there may be that upside potential here in Cisco. Keep an eye on that might be something to watch. Also the the typical coronavirus um, stocks um, are that have been doing quite well um, are a good place to look uh, for potential trades you know keep looking at those gaming stocks like EA EA holding up very very well showing nice bullishness yesterday pushing on through um, I see this continuing up um, as long as we continue to see those coronavirus numbers rising so EA um, ATVI might be a place to look also showing nice strength TTWO um, it might be a place to look um, as we continue to rally. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day and I want to wish you great profits. Remember, everyone, we're going to have to remain pretty darn focused on price action and flexible. Um, with a light day on earnings and a light day on the economic calendar, we could be a little bit sensitive to news events. So keep an eye to those today. And just keep in mind, as we head into this weekend and these rising coronavirus numbers, um, we could see states making some changes um, over the weekend, doing further shutdowns or things along those lines. So consider carefully the risk you carry into the weekend. Um, as we start moving into um, third quarter earnings season. So everyone, I want to wish you all the best. Please, please, please stay safe. Stay safe. Um, I want to see you right back here bright and early Monday morning. Take care, everyone. Have a wonderful weekend.